Insert a lens holder into an X carrier and place it at the end of the rail. Gently clamp the RGB LED device into the lens holder. The yellow lead goes to the positive terminal. The red, green and blue leads provide power to the red, green and blue LEDs respectively and they're plugged into the negative terminal. To turn on all three LEDs at once, the leads can be plugged in together. But for the first few experiments, we only want to use the blue LED. So we'll ensure that only the blue LED is plugged in. Turn on the power supply. Press the output button to apply power to the terminals. Ensure that the voltage doesn't exceed 5 volts, otherwise this will damage the LED device. Insert a turntable into an XY holder. and locate the center point of the turntable. This will be the axis of rotation of the turntable. Align the 3D printed aperture lens holder so the lens is at the center point of the turntable. Clamp it onto the base, first by tightening the post screw and then applying light pressure with the clamping bar. Insert a ground glass screen into an X carrier and place it so you can find a focused image of the LED. you should be able to see a clear outline of the LED die. Measure the distance from the object to the lens and from the lens to the image. Note the uncertainties. Replace the ground glass screen with a light meter. Changing the diameter of the aperture changes the intensity of the light on the light meter. Make sure you record the diameter and the intensity. Replace the light meter with the ground glass screen again. And open the aperture to its maximum. Open the aperture to its maximum value and find the distance to the screen at which the image is just in focus. and record
record the distance, at which you know the image just going out of focus. Repeat this again with the aperture at its minimum value. Using the turntable, rotate the lens in 5 degrees steps to about 25 degrees. You should see the image spread out into a comet shape as the lens rotates. Turn off the output to the power supply and plug in all the leads. Turn the power supply on and all three LEDs should be lit. Move the screen to focus the image for the red LED. Measure the distance from the lens to the ground glass and estimate the uncertainty. Repeat these measurements for the green and the blue light. 